Yes, you should consider 100%, but not because of your age or total testosterone levels. Familiarizing oneself with the reality of your endocrine system, and potentially opting to introduce a chemical intervention like HRT or TRT, to optimize your health span, isn't exactly a chronological age issue, it goes way deeper than that. In a perfect scenario, we should build a biological passport, a series of blood panels as we age, so as we get older, we can compare how our hormone profile was when we were 23, and kicking ass to where we are at today. Total testosterone levels, on their own are a really poor assessment to know if you should consider HRT or TRT, because of its relationship with SHBG, sex hormone binding globulin. SHBG binds to the sex hormones floating around our system, when SHBG binds to testosterone, it hijacks it, preventing it from binding to other cells in the body to generate its effects. The testosterone that escapes SHBG, and actively affects the cells in your body, is called your free testosterone levels. So let's say you have ungodly amounts of total testosterone for a natural, 950 nanograms per deciliter. If your SHBG is also crazy high, all that will be hijacked, and your free testosterone will be tiny. So even though your total testosterone is saying you're the alpha dog, you'll experience all the problems of having low levels of testosterone, and maybe some form of HRT, is necessary to create balance within your system. On the other hand, you can be an individual with relatively low total testosterone, let's say 250 nanograms per deciliter, but also super low levels of SHBG, allowing for a high level of free testosterone, even though the total testosterone isn't that high. So when setting up your blood panel to study the possibility of hopping on HRT or TRT, make sure you have these three markers, total testosterone, SHBG, free testosterone. Age is not the end of all your hormone health. Several studies show that a decline in testosterone levels, as men grow older, is likely the result, not the cause, of deteriorating general health due to lifestyle factors. Age, in itself, might not affect testosterone levels in healthy older men. And for sure is not the sentence some greedy TRD clinics want you to believe by saying, after 40, your testosterone levels plummet to the ground, and there is nothing you can do about it. Now, assuming your labs came back all wonky, TRT or HRT shouldn't be your first option of intervention. The order of operations goes like this. 1. Behavior. Optimizing your sleep schedule, engaging in regular resistance and aerobic exercise, and implementing great dietary practices will directly impact your testosterone levels and overall health in general. 2. Supplementation. There are natural supplements that increase the secretion of luteinizing hormones, like Phytogeogrestis and Tonkatali. LH is secreted by the pituitary gland and stimulates the gonads to produce endogenous testosterone using cholesterol. Having higher levels of LH means directly correlates with higher natural production of testosterone. 3. Chemical intervention. The form of HRT I would try before hopping on TRT, if the previous steps failed to put me in a healthy range, is HCG. It does the exact same thing as the aforementioned natural supplement. HCG is luteinizing hormone but introduced to the body exogenously, the only caveat here is the potential suppression of the natural production of luteinizing hormone, in the pituitary gland. And lastly, and only lastly, I would give up trying to hold to my natural testosterone, and finally give in to pinning some roids, but only if I was feeling like nothing would work, even after doing all those things and be sure I did it all right. Hormone optimization is an option that needs to be considered as we age, but never never lightly. If you like my videos please support the channel by subscribing and sharing. More information in the description below. Thank you for watching.